Bird Air. Oh, what an impressive little uh, vehicle. But there's hardly no, no videos online about it. It's crazy. It's pretty new. Um, but it's enough time for people to have gotten it and started reviewing it. So I'm kind of surprised at that. I think it's a really nice looking vehicle, well made. Uh, it's missing a bell. Uh, but that's not the reason why I took it back. I did take it back. And let's find out why. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. Before we get started, please, please click that subscribe button to help us grow. And make sure you comment on the video. And before you go, like the video. Like the video right now. Let's do it. Let's get started. So let's take a, a deeper look at this bird air i mean there are a lot of scooters on the market uh, definitely at the entry level price range but going over these scooters i see i mean this this thing is well made i mean look how thick the shaft is there's no flex bend or anything to that thing that thing is it's huge compared to its competitors at this price range. There's no wires. Not one single wire. Everything is concealed. No wires. At the handles bars, no wires at the at the bend to when you fold this thing. I mean it just it's just made very well. No wires at the wheels, the front or the back. No chance of exposure for breaking any wires. You don't see any wires anywhere. Everything is contained inside this body. Charge, cap. Would like love to have seen a magnetic, a magnetic uh, latch there. It's, it, it does take a little filling with to get this thing to stay in there. There you go. I mean, this 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 uh, this thing is just solid. Got the bird logo there. This whole thing is matte, uh, rubberized matte. His grips here has no traction issues as far as your feet staying on at all. No issue with this braking. I mean, no squeaks, no sounds that it shouldn't be making. Wheels are solid. And these handlebar grips are nice and thick. Not just a straight bar. Has some nice shape to it. It's a nice rubber feel that there's no traction lost on that all the controls are solid no, no brake just a seamless transition between all parts from your throttle to the screen look at that screen nice button can't miss that turn lights on and off and all those things this latch here is is a dual purpose it latches 
here to lock it in when you fold it, but it's also you can carry a bag, like a grocery bag. That's nice and strong. No flex. No flex on any of these parts. These parts are in here solid. I'm quite impressed with the quality of this. Scooter. Nice wide fender and brake, stop brake. logo here on the front. Nice solid construction. Nice thick base to stand on, no flex. And there's never a, an issue when you hop on this thing. There's no, there's no bounce. That thing is just solid. You get up on that thing, it just holds your weight. I mean, you can jump on this thing, and there is no flex. This thing is built like a tank. Other scooters may go a little faster. May go a little longer, but for well, entry level personal scooter, you can't go wrong with this. This thing is just nice. Even the charger, nice and light. Metro Boat Bird logo as well. So it's just one button click to turn on. You see it's in the higher mode, speed mode. One tap, to turn the light on. Double tap, to get to the default mode. 
Got your bar battery range or your battery indicator. It's full charge. When you log into the app, you'll see the actual percentage. And this can say four bars, but it could be as low as 75 or so percent are remaining or 25 percent gone um, until it gets completely past that point it won't switch to the third point so uh, it's, this is kind of hard to determine what the actual percentage is the app will show you the actual the handlebar gives you a a little space again it, it should have had a bell right there but you have some space to put a bell or a mirror I mean no no chance of pinching anything as you move your hand across here just smooth well thought out design from top to bottom. Speaking on the bottom, let's take a look at that. Let's talk about this stem or shaft. So there's your latch, your release, release latch there that is no way you can accidentally open that up. You have your ridges on both sides to give you traction to pull that up and then once that's up then you can slide this down at that point in time this thing will immediately begin to drop and you just need to press on the on the kick brake they'll lock that in definitely always recommend that the kickstand is down when you're lower, lowering that and raising it up. And so this cover just slides up and down when needed. And take a look here. This is the only wire and that's even covered with a spring there's no wires exposed in any kind of way throughout the whole construction of this look how thick that is the thing is it's just well well designed tires nice and thick no air needed I'm gonna jump curves and go up curves and down curves and driveways no no problem got a fender on both the front and the back wheel Again, the bottle has no, no access to wires. You can't find a wire if you wanted to. A little little gap there where you can get debris. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot of places to capture any cooks. So making cleaning this thing pretty easy.
So if this uh, vehicle is so well built and looks really nice and there's no uh, squeaking and creaking and flexing uh, of none of the parts, the steering wheel is integrated and looks nice. Um, I didn't return it because it didn't have a bail. You can pick one of those up pretty cheaply. Um, but the security feature, not being able to lock it, you know, for them to mention that on the website and then it not be there. And then Bird was no help. Uh, I tried contacting them. They only wanted this to contact them through the app. The Android the app didn't even have a, the ability to contact yes. them. The Again, Apple or in iOS there. Uh, app did, which I communicated to them. No wires. And no one ever reached back out to me at all. So anywhere. They just dropped the ball. And so I, um, I didn't like that you couldn't lock it. I didn't like that it didn't have a cruise control. And I didn't like the 16 miles per hour. Now, in all honesty, 16 miles per hour is pretty fast. For most people, it will be fine. Um, but for $55 more, I could get tape. the Yaomi you know, size. You see it. M365 Pro, which would give me an extra 5 miles per hour, give me my ability to lock the device. Give me the cruise control. Um, now, the extra five miles per hour is with a hack, um, which presents other issues, like the engine could possibly overheat and things like that. So I have to use that uh, sparingly. But that is the reason why I chose to take it back. And so I have received... Um, the M365 Pro, and I have uh, had it, I guess, for a full day now, uh, having ridden it last uh, night a little bit and then more today, and so I will present that video just as soon as I can get that thing together, but uh, as of now, I think this is a really nice vehicle, and um, as long as you're, you're content with the 16 miles per hour and the guesstimate of 16 miles uh, though again that's at the lower speed so if you're going 16 miles per hour you will not get that all right guys so thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for the next video hey guys i appreciate you taking time to watch the video and for clicking the like button Check out the description for additional information and please subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell for notification of new videos. Ask your questions and share your thoughts below in the comment section. And until next time, I'll see you on the web.